A fossil hay from CFA. What's up guys? Ashby Gale here, owner of Charleston Fossil Adventures, with an exciting record-breaking discovery made in paleontology just hours ago. During a routine lagoon draining procedure at the Rutland Water Nature Reserve in Oakham, UK, water conservation team leader Joe Davis noticed a string of vertebrae snaking through the mud of the recently drained lagoon. Fellow staff initially dismissed the discovery as sections of pipe from an old structure. However, Davis had prior experience discovering various cetacean skeletons on the Hebrides and instantly recognized the vertebrae's similar shapes. Over the course of two months, researchers uncovered what turned out to be a skeleton over 32 feet long, representing both the largest and most complete ichthyosaur skeleton ever discovered in the UK. The skull alone is over 6 feet long. The bones date back 180 million years and are remarkably preserved. What's more, Preliminary analyses suggest this skeleton could represent the first of its species found in Britain. Of course, remember, ichthyosaurs are marine reptiles, not dinosaurs, grouped among other synapses such as mosasaurs and plesiosaurs. The Rutland Water Nature Reserve is no stranger to fossil discoveries, as prior work on the property's lagoons had uncovered two partial ichthyosaur skeletons in the 1970s. The poetic aspect of the discovery of Britain's largest ichthyosaur is that Rutland is Britain's smallest county, whose motto is multum in parvo, meaning much in little. But perhaps the greatest benefit of all to the discovery of the Rutland Sea Dragon is the spark of intrigue and curiosity it will ignite in the minds of a new generation of young scientists. Ones who will discover that some of the first published discoveries of ichthyosaurs are attributed to an at the time lesser known paleontologist, Mary Anning, who struggled to receive proper credit for her scientific contributions within a male dominated field. Now comes the hard work of carefully prepping out the bones from a handful of plaster jackets so that the fossil can be studied further. Similar work takes place every day in research institutions all across the world. If you'd like to see such work up close, then consider taking a visit to the Mace Brown Museum of Natural History in downtown Charleston, where similar world-class discoveries are made every year. If you enjoyed this moment of Paleo Press, please give this video a like so it can spread to more people fascinated with our planet's vast fossil history. As always, I enjoy hearing your thoughts about the content we make, so please leave a comment below if you have an engaging story about a fossil you've discovered. Thanks for watching, remember to collect responsibly, and happy hunting!